Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Now on the planet today, there are over 32,000 species of fish, and this is more than all of the amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals combined. And within these 32,000 species, there are plenty of predatory fish, each having their own way of catching their prey. Some are opportunistic and ambush predators, then there are the species that catch their prey through speed alone. And those species of fish are the ones that I'll be focusing on in this video, as I will be going through five of the fastest fish on the planet today. But surprisingly, this was a very hard video to research because as you can imagine it's hard to get a good estimation of how fast a fish is swimming through the water and there are a lot of incorrect figures out there because if you believe everything on the internet it'll tell you that black marlins can travel at 80 miles an hour which is around 129 kilometers per hour and this would make it the fastest fish in the world but if you do a little digging into where this number came from you'll soon find out that it's a literal fisherman's tail as this figure was based on a marlin being caught on the fishing line and it was said to have stripped line off of the reel at 120 feet per second and this in turn meaning that it was traveling at 82 miles an hour and this sort of speed is almost impossible and scientists believe that their actual top speed is around 22 miles per hour but this didn't stop the BBC as they published the wrong numbers but we'll start off today in the Atlantic Ocean as we have the Atlantic bluefin tuna now the Atlantic bluefin tuna is a close relative of the other two bluefin tuna the Pacific bluefin and the southern bluefin and these predators are built like muscly torpedoes as they're extremely streamlined and cut their way through the water and like many other open ocean bony fishes, the Atlantic bluefin tuna start out as extremely tiny larvae, being only a few millimetres long. But if they make it through to adulthood, they can reach a massive 3 metres or 9.8 feet. And to help them get to this size, they have enormous appetites, helping themselves to smaller fish, crustaceans, squid, and even eels. But Atlantic bluefins have also known to filter feed on zooplankton and small organisms. And because of their astonishing speed, they have very few natural predators, as they're only really preyed upon by orcas and the fastest of shark species. But as I'm sure many of you know, tuna are a highly valued food fish and can sell for millions of dollars. And because of this demand, they have been criminally overfished and almost all tuna species are threatened in the wild. But if given a chance to reach maturity, they can swim at a maximum speed of around 44 miles per hour, which is around 71 kilometers per hour. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same speed as a greyhound. And that's a very respectable speed for the first fish on the list. But for our next species, we'll head to temperate and tropical oceans worldwide as we have the short fin mako shark. Now as you can probably guess from its name there are two species of mako shark, the short fin and the long fin. And the word mako comes from the Maori language and it loosely translates to man eater. But I think this is a bit harsh on the short fin mako as even though it's capable of injuring and killing people there have only been nine recorded attacks on humans between 1950 and 2017 and only one of these attacks were fatal. And at a quick glance the short fin mako looks a lot like the great white shark. And this is because they're in the same family which also includes salmon sharks and the poor beagle shark and the short fin mako uses its speed to feed upon cephalopods and bony fish including mackerels tuna and even in some cases swordfish but feeding on these prey items comes with its risks as many makos are seen with puncture wounds as the bills of sailfish or swordfish impale the mako shark and even in some cases can fatally injure them but the mako fish is very well adapted to catch these prey items as their streamlined body means that they can reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour which is around 74 kilometers per hour and to put that into perspective that's around the same speed as a jackrabbit and this impressive speed makes them the fastest shark in the world but for our next species we'll be staying in the tropical and subtropical seas as we have the wahoo now the wahoo is a member of the mackerel tuna and bonito family and is one of the largest members in this family as they can reach maximum size of around 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet and the wahoo is equipped with some pretty nasty teeth and they put these gnashes to great use feeding on other pelagic fish such as tuna flying fish dolphin fish, jacks and herrings to name a few. And because of its speed and size, it's only really preyed upon by the previously featured mako sharks and billfishes, as the wahoo is thought to be able to swim at around 48 miles per hour, or around 77 kilometers per hour. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same speed that an ostrich can run. So even though it's faster than the previous species, it does still fall prey to it. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to the Indo-Pacific, as we have the striped marlin. Now there are around 10 species of marlin in the world, and each one of these species is strong, fast, and very sought after by fishermen. But the striped marlin is differentiated from other species by its clear stripes running along its body. And even though it can reach a whopping 3.6 meters or around 12 feet long, it's nowhere near the largest marlin species. And in the wild, these fish are mainly solitary, only forming small groups or schools during the spawning season. They tend to feed on other open ocean fish, and to catch these prey items, they don't just use their speed, as they also use their 
iconic bill to knock the fish off balance or even injure them to the point where they can't swim. And as I covered earlier on in the video, many predators of the billfish are often punctured or even killed by their bills. But it's still unknown if this is a deliberate act or if it is accidental as they go after the same foods. And billfish can survive with broken bills, they just might be a little less effective at catching fish. And although the bill does not regenerate, it does continue to grow as the fish grows. And this is very good news for the multiple members of the billfish family as they don't just impale predators as they're also known to launch themselves at boats too. And this species really could cause some damage to your boat as they're thought to reach a maximum speed of around 50 miles per hour or around 80 kilometers per hour. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same speed as a horse can run. And that's quite a respectable speed for one of the fastest billfish. And for our next species, we'll be staying in the tropical and temperate oceans as we have the sailfish. Now I say the sailfish, but in some places in the world, there are thought to be two species, the Atlantic sailfish and the Indo-Pacific sailfish. But there are very few differences between these two species and most authorities now recognize them as a single species. But just like the previously featured marlins, the sailfish is a member of the billfish family and feeds in a very similar way to the striped marlin by catching open ocean fish with their speed and power and also using their bill to knock them off balance. And one of the ways in which you can differentiate a sailfish from a marlin is by the size of their sail, as the sail is a lot bigger compared to their body than all of the other marlin species. And when travelling at full speed, the sail is normally kept folded down. And when the sailfish attack their prey, this colourful sail is erected so that the sailfish can easily change direction when hunting down smaller fish. And sailfish are a popular food and game fish, and although it is illegal in most cases to commercially catch billfish, they are sometimes caught as bycatch when fishermen are after other legal species. And if you were to do a bit of sport fishing and you manage to catch a sailfish, it is important that you do not take them out of the water. A sailfish can live to around 15 years old, but sailfish caught and released by fishermen have an average lifespan of four to five years, meaning that the stress or damage sustained during the battle on the fishing rod really affects their well-being. But a healthy sailfish is thought to reach speeds of around 68 miles per hour, which is around 109 kilometers per hour. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same speed as a cheetah and although it's disputed it's thought to be the fastest fish in the world. But that's about it for this video. As I said at the start of this video, this is still a very debated topic and there are a lot of other fish that many people think should be on this list. So if you think you know any, then leave them down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.